since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood, known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war, a battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms.
my brothers. This cannot be. A final seal. My lord! How did this happen? was not broken! Abaddon! <laughs> what in heaven's name have you done? I... answer the call. Responsible. How? What hope do you have against the destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth, but you will be watched. Come forth.
bodies are more easily bought than killed. Council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> Trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? Good boy. to die off. Then, the Third Kingdom is lost. Seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. Well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. 
Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. These ancient gates have a mind of their own, but with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. On your journey, you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. King Gargoyles. <laughs> the plumbing must be stopped up. Destroyer's spire. The tower is 
misguided by four of his chosen. Bring me their hearts and ask me no questions. My reasons for helping you are my own. Where can I find these guardians? First, seek the Twilight Cathedral, where the Bat Queen Tiamat has gone to roost. The whole of her domain is a blistering inferno. By land, you will never reach it. Find the high ground with this. And bring me her still beating heart. of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the destroyer's fine sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. He's right.
It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. With neither the White City nor the Black Depths. Something lost between. She wasn't up for having visitors today.
doing to tear out her heart while she still lives. I want to hear her scream. I am one of the chosen. I can grant your every wish. Can you restore the balance? Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes, ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samael. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samael will be pleased. The Serpent Holes are yours, Horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. I trust that she suffered. Not nearly enough. Beautiful. The second guardian, the Griever, moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. All vain. One of the old ones. You didn't mention that before. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, filth. My business is with the horseman. All vain is no ally of the destroyer. But you won't find the Griever without confronting the Black Hammer. And that will require strength you don't possess. Yet. What the hell do you think you are doing, Samael? Tell me, Watcher, how you stifle the horseman's true power in order to keep him on the Council's leash. War. Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are war, rider of the red horse. Not some puppet on this pathetic creature's streams. War, I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it, or a puppet. Do for me what 
you have done for my brethren, and I will hinder you no more. There must be another way. The curse must be broken. Then you may pass. Hundred years. Since the day Abaddon was taken from us, I have prayed for this moment. For your crimes, I would see you tried in the White City. But until this world is free of the Destroyer, its gates are closed to us, and justice will not wait. I sentence you here and now! Finish our little scrap, Missy. There ain't no sport in jumping into a tussle, but don't concern you. Go on, fly away, pigeons. I've had a pluck ya. Blasphemer, it is you who take sides in a battle that doesn't concern you. <laughs> Please, allow me.
Defend yourself, traitor. among tombstones. Why? What role did you play in this whole thing? Horseman, I've got something for you. A fair bit of work, but uh, it's a bit dainty for me. It'll serve you better. You didn't answer my question, old one. Maybe I like the scenery, was it to you? You asked for my help and I gave it. You go on being ungrateful and I'm liable to get upset. Do I look like I'm afraid of death, boy? It's not death you should fear. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> you see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. 
She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hell God worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? Huh. Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon. And he will be punished. Straga is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worms that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some cruel demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport. And they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. The demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the Ashworms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the Old Ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the old masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Chronospheres. It will be much, perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What in this life is certain, horseman? Other than our word, of course.
shield! Kill it! Lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. 
Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most enter her realm. She feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her thing. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. Lie beyond that sticky barrier. Let's finish this. Mm. You honor me with your presence, horseman. There are so many stories about you. You have killed three of the chosen, taken their hearts. Slay the final tower guardian to take my heart. Did Samuel tell you how he came to bear his tainted blood? Why his accursed power beats within our breast? It is not the tower that the chosen protect horsemen. Our charge is to prevent Samuel's return at any cost. You may kill me and return to Samael with my heart. But in him, you will face a threat greater than all the Chosen combined. I did not come for your counsel, Spider. Or your stories. My children will dance to the music of your screams! Right, boy, mine. With my power. 
powers restored. I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could. But I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one. And revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation... <laughs> well... I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? We will meet again. Israel, heaven help me. The, the seventh seal was not broken. What have you to fear from me, angel of death? If you do not intend to kill me, then perhaps you will help me. You've given me no reason to do either. Listen to me. The gate must be shut. The tower must be cut off from the well. It is from the well that the Destroyer draws his power. The Well of Souls? Millions of souls, yes. Enslaved, twisted. A corrupt power to fuel the Destroyer's armies. You are steward of the Underworld, watcher of the well. Not a single soul flows back into this world without you knowing. Unless, Gatekeeper... You opened the way. The Destroyer sent the mightiest of his chosen against me. I fared no better than you did, Horseman, against Straga. Straga? You will take me to him. You have my word. Then tell me what I must do, Angel of Death. Please, you must find some way to draw power to this chamber. I never imagined that you would be my salvation. Hurry now, before Straga learns of your coming. When I found you, you said the seventh seal was not broken. I've heard those words before. Abaddon said the same, right before he died. our hands. To question them is to question the Creator. Do you believe you know better? Yes, old friend. I do. When the seals are broken, Hell will send its chosen to declare battle rights. Their leaders will be gathered in one place and there we will sever the head of the beast. The Hell God stands ready. Breaking the seals will trigger the end war. The kingdom of man is not yet strong enough. Earth will be destroyed. There will be no war, Azrael. 
We will crush the Dark Ones before it's even begun. The pact is a sacred covenant. Even in victory, we will face the wrath of the Council. They will arrive to find the seals intact. And it will be our word, Heaven's word, against that of the Prince of Lies. Now do you see? The seals will be reforged. All will believe that Hell's legions invaded and were delivered to justice by our hand. For the glory of the light, will you do this? Oh, Asriel. You old fool. seal not be harmed. He protected it himself. Are you certain? Without question. We dared not involve the horsemen. We never dreamed we would have to until it was too late. Yet I am to pay the price for your betrayal. Treason! War! You will root out all involved and make them pay! Starting with this one! No. Fool! You deny the will of the Council? You heard the Angel's confession. My service to the Council is ended. We <laughs> made you. We owe. I'm not done until you find the Destroyer and shut him down. Balance. Remember, get up. Azrael lives until he stops being useful. After that, you will do your duty.
Now let's see how useful I can be. After he fell. Saw him. I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azriel? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The Tree of Knowledge. Then... Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon was of his gift. That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions. Or simply destroyed. No. I cannot say for certain. Come. This is no ambush, Horseman. I come alone. I, Uriel of the Hellguard, champion of the White City, call you, Horseman, to Nex Sacramentum. Fool. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? Because Abaddon said you understood honor, and because he was the best of us. The Death Oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. You yes! Yes! What are you waiting for? Sacramentum is mine. I decide when the angel dies, not you. You swore an oath to me. Abaddon is the destroyer. Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. I've been to the tree. Its gift was truth. And I share it with you now. Remember the Death Oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. Good to see you again, Horseman. Greatest work. Until now.
It's Abaddon. Uriel has led the Hellguard against him. It is as you foretold. The Hellguard will fall. Angel of Death, serve me one last time. <laughs> Justice of a corrupt council, and the creator abandons his most faithful. I offer you this choice, horseman. Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? I choose what once a coward did not. So I said you. For duty that I kill you now. Uriel. Uriel. Reap what you have sown, betrayer. because of your precious honor. They let you take the fall. They knew you'd butcher everyone involved to clear your name. And you did. No! Patience, whore. I've got some for you, too. I'll take that. If it were to get broken, you might get ideas. Like not going back in your little cave. It's tragic, really. You had freedom in the palm of your hand, and you lost it. <laughs> That's so damn funny. Even you wouldn't laugh at your own funeral. I'm laughing 
That's yours. Next sacramentum. The death oath is complete. I would do. That's why you spared me. No. Then why? Because I would not have the last of Heaven's honor die with its champion. All debts are repaid. The duty I uphold, it may call me to raise my sword against you. And if that day comes, I won't hesitate. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. 